Hi, I'm Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management. Sometimes when you're creating a project in Analysis Workspace, you're going to realize that you need metrics, segments, and time ranges for comparison that don't exist yet. So we've tried to make it really easy for you to create these things while you're working in Analysis Workspace and not have to go elsewhere in Adobe Analytics to do that. Uh, there are a few ways within a normal project to create a new metric, segment, or time range. Uh, I'll show you all three of them. Uh, the first is here in the left rail, uh, you have uh, for, for metrics, segments, and time ranges this new link, and when you click that, you actually get the builder for each of these things right here in Analysis Workspace. You don't, you're not taken outside of Analysis Workspace. Uh, so I could create a metric here, and if I save it, or if I cancel, either way, I get taken right back to the project I was working on. I don't have to leave this experience. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit, uh, I'll give you a couple of examples of that in a, in a minute. Um, the other way that you can create these things, uh, two other ways, uh, is here under the More uh, button. So I have Create Calculated Metric, Segment, and Date Range. And the third way is actually shown here, it's with a keyboard shortcut. So I am actually going to do this, I'll do Shift-Command-C, and sure enough, I get the Calculated Metric Builder. And if I do Shift-Command-D, I get Date Ranges. Uh, so you don't actually even have to pick up your mouse to create a metric segment or, or date range. Um, let me just quickly give you an example of how this works and, and show you another nifty feature that we included. Uh, so let's say I want to create a new metric. And I click on New. And I'm just going to do some, something simple like page views divided by visits. Looks like I already have that calculated metric in here, but I'm going to create another edition of it anyway. So I'll drag visits onto my canvas. Division is in fact what I want. Um, I think I want to do a couple of decimal places here. So then I'll call it page views per visit. And I will save that metric. Now, here's what's nifty. Um, typically, when you are creating a calculated metric within a project, it's because you want to use that metric immediately. So that metric, or and this is also true of segments and time ranges uh, down below, that metric, once you create it, will show up at the top of your recommended metrics list within this project. So it's very easy for you to then just drag it over and put it on the canvas, and you're, and you're ready to go. And the same is true, as I said, of segments and time ranges. Uh, if you haven't seen the video on creating uh, and working with time ranges, my colleague Justin Grover uh, created it. It's available on YouTube. Um, so be sure to check that out, and, uh, and uh, happy creating components in Analysis Workspace.